What's going on guys, Steve Blake here, and I decided to do a video talking a little bit more about the Moonrock Yeezy Boost 350s because um, a lot of conversations on Twitter, a lot of information out there, and 140 characters just isn't quite enough to really explain what's going on, so I figured I'd make a video. Um, so right now we're looking at official photos of the Moonrocks. In my opinion, they don't quite look like this in person. I'll show you a photo really quick. Um, this is from um, Barney Stock, and you'll notice here that they got twice as many pairs of Moon Rocks as they did Black 50s. So everyone's asking now, well, does that mean it's a GR? Um, no, it, it doesn't mean that. The reason why stores are getting more pairs than they used to is for a couple of reasons. Um, now, these are some of the links to online retailers that will be carrying them, and you'll notice there's no mall stores here. All right, there's no Foot Locker, there's no Finish Line. There's no pack sun, and now you might be saying, well, that means that these might be worth a lot more than the other ones, and in my opinion, uh, they're probably made at just as many black ones as they did these. They're just releasing in a different way. So um, Adidas sent out an email to accounts that were waiting for pairs, and the email essentially said, hey, listen, you had the opportunity to purchase these with Easy Season 1. Uh, we're only going to allocate these to accounts that bought Yeezy Season 1. So you'll notice Essence, Adidas UK, and Adidas US, although I'm almost positive these will end up dropping on Yeezy Supply, and Clothing, Mr. Porter, Barney's, uh, Sneaker Boy, Sneakers and Stuff, Offspring, right? Now what's even more interesting about this is on an order form, if you were to place an order as a retailer for the Yeezy Boost 350, uh, the order form was only available when ordering Yeezy Season 1. What's even more interesting about this was there was two colorways of the Yeezy Boost 350 on the order sheet. So if you were a retailer and you put in an order for 10 pairs of each, what ended up happening was that second colorway, whatever it was, uh, or it might have very well been a typo, never came out. So what Adidas said was, okay, you accounts that offered two, uh, ordered two different pairs, we're going to double down on your order of the one colorway to make up for the fact that you were expecting two. So this makes a lot of sense, and I heard this earlier today, and then I got this text about Barney's, which makes a lot of sense, because if they were a retailer, they put in an order for two of them, they all of a sudden they didn't get them, um, and Adidas doubled down on the one colorway they had, it makes sense why these locations have twice as many. Now the other thing I'm almost positive about, and I always, I'm saying almost positive, again, a lot of this stuff is, is with beyond a certain, uh, what is it, beyond reasonable doubt that this occurred, is um, depending on your account size, like for instance, and clothing, right? They ordered a ton of Yeezy Season One. A friend of mine um, that I don't know how they do this, but like you can see, looks like some of these are still in stock. Oh wow! You can see how many um, sizes they have loaded per each. Uh, he said that some of the sizes, individual sizes for end clothing, had 70 pairs per size of one of the styles, which is just insane. Um, so what I guess Adidas has done is they're rewarding accounts with Yeezy Boost 350s proportionally to how many dollars they spent on Yeezy Season 1. All right, so now I might be saying, well, why are they doing this? Well, for one, it's a great way to bait retailers into ordering more of Yeezy Season 2 because they're like, well, I really want the Yeezy Boost 350s. And Adidas is like, well, you can't have them unless you take all this product. So now they're going to be like, well, you know, we really should have put it in an order because we really want the 350s. It's a good look for our store. A lot of these stores use them as marketing tools too. That's why you see so many contests to post to win, IG to win, everything like that. So overall, um, is this a general release? It's probably going to be made a little bit harder because a lot of these premium boutique stores that will be carrying the likes of Barney's, etc., um, we'll be holding them down for best customers. You might be saying that's unfair, but I know for a fact, if you spend a lot of money at a Barney's or Mr. Porter's, you develop a good relationship with the sales associates. Sales associates reward their best customers. So if you're waiting out line in Barney's and they say they have 100 pairs, they probably have 130 and they're just not going to sell those 30 to you because you're basically a vulture customer. There's no better way of saying it. It's not a bad thing. It's just you're there for that product. That's it. Whereas they'll put aside product for the person that's there for the you know eight hundred dollar Balenciaga shirt that they go in and buy a couple times a week with their with their rep, if that makes sense. So a lot of information. I'll link down you know these kind of sites and everything like that if you're curious. And this will update with with times and everything like that. 
Um, some of the times are, I'm going off of last time, but the 14th is creeping up on us, so this is just an informative video because there's just a ton of um, ton of information flying around, and I've just kind of gathered up as much as I can, uh, and then worked with my contacts to try to best confirm everything. So if the account didn't order Yeezy Season 1, they're not going to have the boost. So PacSun, Finish Line, Foot Locker, um, Villa, YM, uh, YMCM, or whatever it is, going to be a tough luck for them. So hopefully this video helps you guys and hopefully you'll be able to cop. I'll put a link down in the description um, to this and then I'll put a link down in the description to some of the older Easy Boost colorways. T-Blake signing out. Peace guys.